morning. Let's start. So my name's Alistair Milkreest from Custom Gateway. I'm the chair again this week. And this week's webinar is going to be focusing on one of our uh, Create solutions. So specifically, cre the Create pre-design tool. We've had a new pre-design tool. We'll say new. It's been out nearly a year now, but uh, we're still um, uh, rolling out all the things we do. And our pre-design tool is uh, built within Gateways, custom Gateways, custom product platform. And it allows um, people to take existing products from their own uh, product range or our supplier's product range and give them the option to create beautiful pre-designs. So firstly, let's make sure we have a clear understanding. So we've made it easier than ever for cr creating pre-designs, but what is a pre-design? So a pre-design is where we're taking an existing product. There's going to be a static design that can't be changed, and there's going to be an area customization. So if I look at this product specifically, we've got uh, Sean the Sheep, and it's on a cushion. And then we can see here that on the cushion, the I love you image is static and can't be changed. And the only option we've got is uh, to customize the lettering. So we've got a placeholder in there saying customize me. And we can just put in our name. So the pre-design element is the image on the cushion. We can only uh, change our name here. And in the add image, we can only change the color of our cushion. So we're allowing people to guide their customers to creating beautiful products. And what we find is the more pre-designed options you give, the higher the conversion rate, because you're not asking people to be too creative. And also you can protect your intellectual assets. In this case, Armand's and Sean the Sheep. We don't want people playing with their fonts on the messages or the actual image itself. And we're allowing some customization as well. Let's look at a different one as well. Probably the best pre-designed product in the world. Uh, I think I might be uh, taking that from somewhere. Uh, but again, we can look at this. And this is a nice pre-designed product. And it's actually one of my favorites because we have a nice image that's been preset into the background. We have it in context of drinking our beer. And now you can see, while I had it designed on the slide, uh, we have a blank uh, pre-design here, which is the label on the bottle. And then we have three text fields, which we can then type in uh, the message we want to give. So I'm hoping someone's going to get me a beer bottle for my birthday. So again, very simple pre-design. The product's being created, in this case, also in context. And we're chosen the actual image we want on the bottle. And we have the pre-design fields. Uh, and then we have the customizable fields uh, selected as well. And in this case, we only have three text lines. We can change our font size and color. But again, we can't play around with the image or the asset. So creation is simple in custom gateway CPP. And while I'm not a product creator, even I can create a simple pre-design. So I'm just going to quickly show you how now, because it really is easy. So I've just logged into one of our demo accounts here. and I want to create a pre-designed uh, polo shirt for a brand. So I select the product I want to create. We can do multiple products, but I'm just going to do one for now. And then simply with our drop down to the selected, new pre-designed. I choose the category in my CPP I want it to be added to. So I'm going to add it to my pre-design category. And then it's going to load our customizer. Now, this is the core base product in the CPP. So it's a plain shirt. So I can choose the color of my shirt. And this instance, I want to choose a light green. And you can see this product has been set up with uh, a number of um, uh, areas that can be customized. So I want to be able to put my uh, corporate logo on two areas and allow for some customization. So if I choose uh, the front image, and I'm going to create a Land Rover T-shirt. So going to my computer, I'm going to be choosing a Land Rover logo. Then I can resize that into the area. 
Then also, I want to add it onto the sleeve as well. And size it to fit in the nice printable box. Okay, so then I'm actually going to allow the other image areas to be uh, adjustable by the customer and the text. So I can save that product. Just give that a couple of seconds to save. I think I'm using the uh, internet juice on my webinar. So it's now created a brand new product for me. So actually click on there straight to it to have a look. And those that you're familiar with our CPP, here's the product in our, um, uh, our back end. And then if I go to the Smart Link Builder, I can just have a look at this product I've created. So I'm going to open this product. And you can see now it's taken my shirt and it's uh, put the logo in. I now cannot change that logo. I've still actually did allow the ability to change the color of the shirt. I could have locked that down as well. And now I can uh, add an image. And you can see now the front and the right sleeve has been removed. So I can add an image to the left breast or I can add some text to the left breast. So I can have my own, um, uh, create my own custom now. So, I mean, um, I'm sure Land Rover uh, wouldn't want me to add someone else's logo. So I can just choose uh, the Land Rover one again. And you can see here now, I can start to customize. And this T-shirt also uh, actually had an effect uh, applied to it in the background, which was um, uh, one color, I think, by the look of it. Whereas I'm actually now in a color logo. So the point with the pre-design is we can add um, uh, the images we want to, and we can then have a look at our product. So again, there was the Land Rover logo I did earlier. So very simple way to create pre-designs uh, from existing imagery and artwork. The key is the product is set up in the background and it can be created. So let's look at one more product as well. So I'm gonna choose a nice phone case this time, which is gonna be in 3D rather than 2D. If I can remember where I filed it. Okay, so let's look at this one as well. So we're gonna select this. New pre-designed, so how simple it is. Choose the category. And now I've got my case. You can see this one's a nice 3D model. I want to have a Land Rover case as well. And again, this product is maximizing the aspect area, so I can change it down to fit how I want it to. And I can move this around as well, because I'm going to be allowing textual for the name to go above here. And simply, I can say that's a pre-designed product. It's creating my product straight away. I can look at the product. I can go to my smart link builder and I can open the product to see how it appear on my website. You can see here now that the image option has been completely removed because this was the only area. So now all I can do is uh, add some text in. And I could have defined where the text area sits as well. And I've left the controls on to change the uh, text and the font and the color of the text as well. And again, nice, beautiful in 3D. So a very easy way to create beautiful designs on the website to inspire customers as well. I created a blog post about the Create Pre-Design tool. And within the blog post, there's a link to our knowledge base article, which gives those simple instructions but really, select product, choose menu, couldn't be easier. So that was a short webinar today, but sometimes the short ones are the best because it really is a simple process. And we encourage you all to create pre-designs. You can find more information on our 
uh, webinars and our products at customgateway.com. We're on Twitter at Custom Gateway. And obviously, we've got the blog as well on the Custom Gateway website. So thank you very much for joining me this morning. This blog post and video will be posted uh, on our webinars page. Uh, have a good Friday and enjoy your weekends.